Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, the Sony Link Buds has been out for a month plus, so about two months already. One and a half months, I'm not too sure. Okay, and because of the unique shape, okay, it makes us wonder uh, how does it sound and everything. I believe uh, a lot of you have already bought this uh, Link Buds already. But uh, okay, this video is more for those who already owned the link, but and for those uh, who are looking to buy one but are not uh, how to say uh, they are not too sure about the sound quality. Okay, first off, I would I would just like to say that the sound quality is quite good, um, but there might be people. Well, I I've seen so much video of people complaining about the. I mean the overall uh, what's that called uh, uh, immersiveness of the the earbuds uh. but okay obviously because this is a open back a fully open let's look at the ring okay it's a fully open ear uh, earbud design you are going to lose out a lot of uh, your your body and your base okay but the overall performance of the link but is really really good <coughs> But one issue uh, when you are using this outdoors uh, is that uh, really you, you are not able to get any enjoyment out of it. It's just uh, to have sound going through. But when you are using it in an enclosed area like an office or your room, this is going to be really, really good. And uh, it allows you to listen to, to I mean, it, you can even hear, it's it basically like an open back headphones. Like you can hear your, your outside uh, noises or rather uh, when people talk to you or you, know, you are more aware of your surroundings. In this video, we are actually going to just go through uh, what can be done for those uh, who find something lacking, uh, those who want a bit more uh, immersion uh, when outdoors, uh, because uh, I mean you like the comfort level of these uh, earbuds and everything. The most uh, obvious uh, way to mod this, uh, I mean uh, we call it a mod, but it's not actually a mod. It's really just a blue tag on the hole itself. This is the the most straightforward way. I'm running pink noise here and uh, running the. I mean, this is the. The mic for the measurement here. Okay, please take note now. Uh, the graph is only for reference because uh, you are never able to get a seal like this. Uh. I mean, I'm going to seal it with. Uh, with blue tech. We will start off with the stock. Nothing here. Nothing at the back. We we'll start off with the stock uh, sound of this. I have already turned off my. I have already turned off the EQ in the headphone connects uh, app. Also, uh, EQ works very well with this uh, particular ear, but especially uh, after you do some uh, sort of. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna call this a mod, but after you do some changes to it externally okay so double to, to double check uh, we have turned off the EQ already and I'm uh, running it at a volume of about 75% oh actually it's max out sorry I'll go to about 75% and okay this is the graph With the hole exposed, this is just the bare graph. Okay, um, we can take a look once we add the back uh, cover for the vent. We we'll take a look at this region and we we'll take a look at the treble region. I mean the this region. So I'll just uh, put it in. Okay, take a look at the change of the graph. Uh. This is of course a full sale, so this is uh, basically a close back already. This is not semi close. Uh, I'm not going to simulate the the, the semi close back uh, situation, but this is the changes that you can get. Uh, we can take a look at the the lower regions. Uh, we see how much they jump. Okay. Okay, basically this is what a full back seal looks like. I mean the changes you can expect from a full back seal. Um, we have the other side. Okay, actually no. 
we just want to uh do uh, something like uh we, we want to block some of the the vent hole i mean the the the, the output hole here okay so uh, we cut a piece of uh this is just clear tape uh, clear tape that we just cut we all should have access to a clear tape okay i want to cover about more than 70 percent of this okay when doing this uh, i mean uh if you want to cover the holes uh, you want to make sure that the the, the one pointing to your ear I mean your your eardrums are exposed, not the one below. But actually, I've done some tests. The difference is not is not that much. Okay, I personally like to. Okay, actually no la, I'm still in the midst of testing uh, what I like because I also have EQ. We can take a look at the shiny part. This is the clear tape. We actually block out the hole, the true hole. So this is actually a fully closed part. We can still allow the outside sound to come in because of the fact that the clear tip uh, is not very isolative the blue tech will do a good job with uh, blocking out the external noise we will we'll test this uh, and we'll check it, check it against the other graph uh, if i have the visuals i put it on the screen okay so we take a look at the graph the current graph right now actually i can i can just uh, show you the the visuals right now let me the changes i'll do it again but uh since we are at this stage already uh, let's take a look at this uh let's take a look at this uh this graph we'll add in the back vent Th it will not yet change because i'm not uh, registered yet Th just take a look at the changes uh. as you can see uh, there is uh, basically not much change uh, when you add uh, a blue tag at the back uh, when the front is uh, being uh, already covered up. This is because, I mean, the, the vent is already covered up, so there, there will not be a difference. The only difference is that the isolation will be better with a blue tag. Okay, I'll uh, just put it on average. So right now I am going to remove the the tape that I just put in so that we can do a comparison of uh, before and after. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the graph changes, ah. Uh. Right there, you can immediately see what is different. So that was, uh, I mean, previously that was uh, the front tip versus uh, no tip. So it's a, f it's a full uh, change. Okay, right here, I have the vent half block. You see half block so basically this half uh, blocking does, does nothing to it uh, it's actually going to be full open but we are only going to we are only going to uh, cover up half to get the shiny part which is the tip this is half of uh, the driver itself So we just want to see how uh it differs from uh having a uh, no uh no tape at all and half tape. So what I'm going to do is I'll I'll show the measurement of this and I'll remove the tape and I'll do uh, like just now la, I mean uh, like what I've been doing to show you. Okay, now we have some weird. Okay, oh, it's not playing. Sorry. Okay, so basically, when we take a look at this graph, I think it looks very similar to uh, what was here before. I mean, uh, without the the tape. Now I'm going to remove the the tape itself, and we see what is the difference. Uh, what is it going to cause? Actually, no. Uh, we should try to put a full vent. Uh, I mean, a back uh, blocker on it, like this one. Block the back vent. You see the difference? 
Okay, this is very similar, uh, similar to uh, what uh, the previous, uh, I mean, the full cover, uh, etc. So now I'll take this off, and we are going to remove the tape. Uh, well, wow, it's averaging. Okay, we just take note at this portion. I don't think uh, much will change. I mean, even for, for the graphical changes, uh, I mean, uh, when you listen to it, you can actually do a side-by-side -side AB. Just do one side of the mod and you can actually feel, I mean, have a few of the changes. The most of the changes comes from the sale. So uh, you have a more immersive experience. And of course, more mid, base and body. Okay, uh, let me just try. Let's take a look. Okay, as expected, nothing much change. Uh. So in conclusion, uh, the most important part of the, I mean of this, is basically just uh, covering up the back hole. So uh, what is this called? You can either use a blue tag, put it in the center. You can remove this uh, as and when you want, or you can put a piece of tape right at the center or uh, on the outside or the inside it's up to you uh if you want more uh what's that called if you want it to be more uh transparent i mean you can hear the more outside the blue tag will cause the seal to be much more uh what is it called um more <coughs> more blocked out it will be more blocked out of the outside world whereas the tape will give you about maybe just a 20 percent less uh letting in the sound 20% less for the tape uh, I mean the how, how however much hole you cover they actually will affect uh, okay not much on the sound uh, on the graph itself on the sound graph not much there but it actually affects the sound speed and uh, what's it called uh, the pressure so the presentation will be slightly different I also encourage you to go and play around with the tape uh, on and off but uh, just bear in mind that uh, the changes are, are very very small but it's certainly discernible and uh, right after I mean all the mod combination uh, it's going to make I, I'm, I'm very sure that you will find something that you like okay after going through all this um, basically after you get the the, on, the ambient that you like already uh, you can go ahead and go for the EQ mode the EQ mode does change a lot uh, on the sound so uh, you can try to work, play around with all the settings uh, but basically uh, do the seal and seal we just test out the difference uh, and I hope you can be happier with the I, I know some a, a lot of you have complaints about it I hope that uh, you can enjoy this much better